Are you on a fat loss, a weight loss, or a body recomposition journey? And are you wondering what actually happens to the fat when you lose weight? Where does the fat go when you lose weight? In this video, I'm gonna explain what fat burning actually means, what is fat anyway, and where fat goes when you lose weight to help you get a better understanding of what is happening in your body during your weight loss journey. We're gonna dive right in, but of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get a notification when I release a new video just like this one every single week. My name's Michelle Roots, kinesiologist, personal trainer, nutrition coach, and fitness and fat loss motivation specialist. I have over 16 years experience in the industry helping people decrease body fat, increase lean muscle, and become the healthiest, strongest versions of themselves, and I created this channel to help you as well. So if you find the video helpful, make sure you give it a like and leave me any questions in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. So let's just start this video by defining the difference between weight loss and fat loss. Weight loss refers to a decrease in your overall body weight from things like muscle, water, and fat. Whereas specifically fat loss refers to just the decrease in your overall body fat percentage. So most simply put, fat loss is a goal of reducing your overall fat mass whereas weight loss is just seeking a decrease in the number on the scale. And so many other things come into play, not just specifically body fat. So in this video specifically, I'm gonna be talking more about fat loss. What happens when you are looking to do, whether it's a body recomposition or just specifically lose body fat, where is that fat going? What is happening to it? How are you losing it? What are the things going on in the body when you decrease your body fat? So all the time you hear about fat burning pills, fat burning workouts, what's the best for fat burning, the best foods for fat burning. What does that even mean? Many of you have maybe never even thought about it, but now that I'm actually mentioning it, you might be like, yeah, what does that mean anyway? That's why I'm making this video. I feel like learning more about the fat burning process and what's actually going on in your body when you're eating food, when you're exercising and doing all the things in order to help you stay motivated and have a better understanding during your fat loss journey. So what is fat anyway? There are two types of fat found in the body, brown adipose tissue and white adipose tissue. With adipose tissue meaning fat cells. So without getting too scientific on you, I'll just call them fat cells. So brown fat cells are actually your good type of body fat and they are responsible for regulating your body temperature. Then white adipose tissue or fat cells are responsible for energy and fueling the body and visceral fat, which is the fat found in your midsection around your organs. So in the simplest way to understand, your body has billions of fat cells in all different places. Of course, some people have more fat cells in different parts of the body compared to others but there is a mix of that white and brown fat cells in your body. And when you are measuring your body fat percentage, we are measuring your white adipose tissue or your white fat cells. So with those fat cells stored in your body, their main purpose is to provide the body with energy and to move your body. I just wanna take a minute to tell you guys about today's video sponsor, Element. One of my go-tos for replenishing my electrolytes after a sweaty workout or just taking on a daily basis. Electrolytes facilitate hundreds of functions in the body, including conduction and nerve impulses, hormonal regulation, nutrient absorption, and fluid balance. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. Element has the perfect balance of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, and even better, zero sugar and other artificial sweeteners. If you live an active lifestyle, especially if you sweat a lot in your workouts, an electrolyte drink like Element might be exactly what you're missing in your life. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors. Get yours at drinkelement.com backslash Michelle. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com backslash Michelle. So with that being said, there are two different types of white fat cells, visceral fat, as well as subcutaneous fat. So the visceral fat, again, is the fat found in and around your organs. So most people who carry a little bit more weight in their midsection most likely have a higher percentage of visceral fat. And this is the fat that can put you at a higher risk of certain health concerns such as diabetes, insulin resistance, heart disease, and basically because a lot of your vital organs are in your midsection, kidneys, your liver, your pancreas. So when these organs are surrounded by visceral fat, they have a much harder job doing what they're supposed to do. So again, like I say in many other videos on my channel, fat loss is not all about aesthetics and how you look. You have to look at it as well as how it's going to help you 
function better in life. And then subcutaneous fat is the fat that we can feel and more so see in our bodies that sits just beneath the skin. So if you're grabbing, say your muffin top or your bat wings, whatever it is, that is the subcutaneous fat that you're grabbing. And subcutaneous fat is not all bad. It is what insulates your body, helps with temperature regulation, but of course, if you have an excessive amount of subcutaneous fat, again, that could lead to other health concerns as well. So before we talk about what happens when you lose fat, let's talk about how someone gains fat or gains weight. Basically, it's down to the old formula of calories in versus calories out. So when you are consuming more calories than you're expending on a regular basis, eating more, moving less, the excess calories, so proteins and carbs, are stored in your fat cells as triglycerides or triglyceride molecules, which are three different types of atoms, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. So put in a simpler way to understand without all the scientific terminology, if you're taking in more calories than you're burning every single day on a regular basis, your body is going to store those excess calories in your fat cells. Okay, so now that we understand fat cells in our body, what they do, how they appear on our body. What happens when you're on a weight loss or a body recomposition journey and you are looking to decrease body fat and maybe your strength training and increasing lean muscle and you're starting to see things get smaller and leaner. Where did that body fat go that you once had on your arm but you now don't see? Where did it go? This is gonna sound crazy, but your lungs are responsible for a lot of the fat leaving your body. So past research, way back in the day, thought that fat was turned into energy and your body burned it off as fuel. But there is newer research, according to an Australian researcher, Ruben Meerman, when you are decreasing your body fat, the majority of that body fat is exhaled through your lungs as carbon dioxide, and then the rest is put into water to be released through sweat and urine. So I guess all those memes that we see about sweat out the fat, I guess partially that's true, but it is not turned into energy. Body fat cells are not turned into muscle. Basically when this process is happening, your fat cells are shrinking. And again, the fat is being exhaled through carbon dioxide and the rest is being turned into water. I found this video online that breaks this down for you in the simplest way to understand. And I wanna play that for you right here. When someone loses weight, where does the fat actually go? In a survey published in the BMJ, most people said it gets converted to energy. But as Einstein has shown, if the fat was turned directly into energy, that would be disastrous. So what actually happens to that matter? Bob here wants to lose 10 kilograms of fat. To do that, he'll burn 94,000 calories, produce a little water, and 8.4 kilograms of carbon dioxide. So where does the fat go? The sign shows you breathe most of it out. So there you go, guys. I hope this helped you understand what is happening in your body's processes when you are taking in calories, when you're exercising. So now that we know this new information about what happens when you're trying to lose body fat, again, not just see the number go down on the scale, we're talking body fat. So a lot of the things I talk about on this channel already in a body recomposition where you're trying to increase lean muscle and decrease body fat. So you are strength training and you are doing some cardio or zone two cardio, which I also talk about on this channel. Because we know in order to lose weight, we need to get rid of the carbon in our fat cells in order to shrink the fat cells and get the carbon dioxide out. We want to reinforce, eat less, move more. So moving your body more, getting that process going, and of course, taking in less calories than you consume. What I also talk about on this channel all the time is eating in a calorie deficit not starving yourself, figuring out your calorie deficit. If you want to know how to figure out your calorie deficit, I have a video breaking all of that down right here. I'll link that in the description below if you want to go watch that next. Or if you're on a body recomposition journey where you're looking to build some lean muscle and decrease your body fat, I'll show you how to break down your macros in this video right here. I'll also link that in the description below, as well as a bunch of other videos that you might find helpful. Either way, I tried my best to keep this short and sweet and in the easiest way to understand in order to, again, help you with the mental side of your weight loss journey. And again, maybe just answer the question that maybe you never thought about it before, but now you know, and but now you have a fun party fact to share 
when you see friends, do you know what happens to your fat when you lose your body fat or lose weight? Maybe they'll be impressed and you can always lead them back to this video and tell them to subscribe to my channel as well. So as always guys, leave me any questions in the comments below. Let me know if you were amazed by this fact or if you already knew it. I'm always happy to hear your feedback. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download my free calorie deficit guide if you wanna know more about what calorie deficit is and how to calculate your own calorie deficit. And if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one in my online fitness and nutrition coaching program to help you reach your fat loss or weight loss goals, I'll put a link below as to where you can find out more about working with me through my coaching app. And I will see you guys next week.